Hey guys, Gal Level here, and today we're gonna be checking out the Streamlabs YouTube Thumbnail Maker. So Streamlabs recently added a YouTube thumbnail maker and that sounded interesting. So in this video, I'm going to be testing it out for the first time. We're going to discover it together. Now I'm going to burst your bubble all <laughs> in the beginning because the YouTube thumbnail maker is actually a prime feature. That means that you need to have Streamlabs prime in order to be able to use it. So technically it is not free, but depending on what you're going to see today, I'm going to show you how it works and, and all the templates that are available. You will be able to determine if it's worth the prime subscription or not on top of, of course, all the other advantages of Streamlabs prime. Anyways, right before we start a message from our sponsor. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for anything customizable that a YouTuber or live streamer will need. You want a dope fully animated overlay pack? They got you. Some of the packs even include PSD files that you can really customize to your liking. You want separate assets such as offline images, webcam overlays, stinger transitions, alert designs, and alert sounds? They got you. You want to create custom emotes? Spend two minutes making a character that looks like you and then let Own generate the rest. I told you, they got you. You want to create sub badges? They got you with their custom sub badge maker. Oh, what? You don't want to make anything? That's fine. They also have pre mades that you can select from. You want custom graphics for your Twitch channel points and rewards? They got you. You want bid badges? They got you. You want to make a dope profile picture? They got an avatar maker and a gaming logo maker. You want to make a channel trailer or a custom YouTube intro? They have a channel trailer maker. No need for editing at all. Oh, so you want a YouTube banner too? They got you. There's a lot of other things that they do, but I'll let you figure it out by going to own.gg slash gal level. That is o w n 3 dgg slash gal level. Okay, so let's check it out. Now, if you go to streamlabs.com and you log in with your channel, I'm actually logged in with my Twitch channel because uh, that's the, the, that's the, the account where I have Streamlabs Prime. And uh, at the bottom here, you will see under Prime, everything that is like golden, yellowish, uh, it will say YouTube thumbnails. You click on this and it brings you to this page where you can see all the templates that they already have. Now I've counted those already and it appears to have about 49 templates for now. So hopefully you can find something that, that fits your channel style, but uh, I haven't checked out the customize button yet. So let's pick this one which I think looks pretty cool. And um, let's click customize. Okay, so it brings you here where you can, okay, this is select background. Uh, you can edit the background. Uh, and then the gray part is basically the background placeholder. I'm guessing you can just click here and add your own image. But let's upload something. Let's click on drag and drop upload. And uh, let's find a picture, for example. Okay, as I always say, if you're a YouTube content creator, you should have like an album of just pictures of you with reactions, different poses, so that you can al always have something uh, to go to make YouTube thumbnails. Uh, what I usually do is at the end of recording my videos, I will pose for the for the thumbnail and then use that a screenshot of that to make my YouTube thumbnail. But I do them in Photoshop. So let's check out this image, which is pretty huge, it's like two megapixels. I usually like having my face and then an image. But in this case, you can only uh, Apparently you can only place one image, so we'll see what, what it is like. Of course, the bigger your image file, the longer it'll take to upload. Boom, files uploaded. Let's just click on it and click select. Okay, so the placement is definitely not great. Um, let me click and drag. Apparently I can move stuff. Nope. Oh, I can select stuff and then move them. It's not letting me. Okay, you can click edit background. There you go. Now you can move it around. All right, that's cool. Um, can I scale it? Let's click on effects. No, add element, predefined image. So you can add more images. Oh, there's already a predefined image. Okay, let's uh, um, untick edit background. So we put it here. Put this like that. Okay, effect. What is that? Okay, so that's the overall color correction filter pretty much. All right, all right. Like that purple. So. With elements, there's predefined image. Uh, what can I do with this? You can move this around. I'm guessing it's gonna be it's gonna be stacking like a layer. Uh, let's say I want to delete this image. Just click here, okay. And then you have a list of elements that you can add, including emojis. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Emojis are something that a lot of uh, YouTubers will use, so it's kind of cool to have a list of emojis. Now, 
apparently you don't have access to all emojis, but you can always download a PNG from an emoji from Google and then add it as an image. Uh, let's keep that and let's see what else do we have. We have icons. Let's see what type of icons do we have Amazon? <laughs> oh, those are like social media icons. Okay. Let me move that here. Uh, then th there's text and then image. Okay, so here you can add other images if you want. Where is it? Here, and then you can scale those other images. So this is going to be different from your background image. What happens if I hold Alt or Shift? Oh, I can skew it. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I hold Alt, th that was Shift. Alt lets you stretch it. Shift makes you skew it. Which is weird because on Streamlabs OBS, Alt actually lets you crop it. Uh, I'm guessing this is Rotate. Yes, it is. Okay, so you do have a lot of freedom. Okay, that's cool. Let's place this here and we can color it. Oh no, that's supposed to be an image. Okay, okay. Uh, let me delete that image. Let's see what else we can add. Predefined image. I don't know what's the difference between an image and a predefined image. I'm guessing that's like the difference with between... Predefined image is something that is already part of the overlay, I'm guessing. Wait, I can't, um, yeah, you can't add like a paragraph. Okay, so every line has to be its different text. Okay, that's that's kind of, it's kind of annoying. If I want to write a paragraph, for example, how would I go about that? You can't, apparently. I mean, it's a YouTube thumbnail. You're not supposed to be writing a paragraph, but still. Uh, would love to have a button from here where I could just select and then delete immediately i have to go here i have to find the text and the list i believe font weight font family you can choose different fonts of course let's delete that okay uh edit background let's move it a little bit okay so once you're done editing it you can go to download thumbnail and it just downloads it to your computer immediately okay there you go so it downloads it i wonder how big the file is let me check so the file is 1.55 megs. So that's, that's, you know, you're supposed to be smaller than two megs for YouTube. Uh, it's actually a 720. Hmm. Interesting. It's not a 1080p file, so it's not full, full HD, but it is still HD. If 720p is still considered as HD. If I go back to templates, let me see what happens. Let's go with this one. For example, let's click customize. Okay. And let's find another picture. Maybe something that has to do with video games this time. Okay, so I have this random Overwatch picture. Let's select it. Okay. Uh, edit background. I really don't like that. You can't scale it. Or am I doing something wrong? Okay. And then effect. Let's go with that color. Wait, you don't get to pick the exact color you want. You have to pick. They have like certain colors that you can choose from, but you can't just throw in your hex code to make it match your exact color scheme. Add elements. Let's uh, change the title. Okay, if you're adding your own text, you can give your text whatever color you want. So hex code is supported for text, just not for the overall effect because it it actually affects like the, the design. It's not a simple color overlay, uh, a color filter, apparently. So that's interesting. But yeah, that's not too bad. There, there are no ways of, um, I would love to have a way to save or did it save what I made already? If I click on this again, it did save some of the things. Okay. You know what? That's actually amazing. That's really, really cool. If it actually saves your, your, your progress, <laughs> you can, it makes it repeatable. Basically it makes you able to just come in here, switch the image, the main image and then type in the new title and then you're good to go. I think that's really cool. But yeah, about 49 templates for now. I think that's a lot. And there seems to be a lot of different styles. Obviously, I really believe that the target audience is people who don't have Photoshop or GIMP or don't have time to do that. The cool thing with Streamlabs is that you can you don't need to be on your computer. You can probably do that from your tablet or wherever you are, any computer. You just have to log into your Streamlabs account and then you have access to this tool. So that's always a plus against, you know, using Photoshop that is installed with all your fonts and all of that on your computer. But also, obviously, Photoshop gives you way more freedom. And I say when I say Photoshop, I'm not necessarily just talking about Photoshop. I'm talking about, you know, any software that does the same thing like GIMP or, or whatever else, Paint. So in conclusion, I think this is a very 
powerful tool, but at the same time, it is very limited. Of course, it's a web-based program that allows you to edit images. But if you are a Twitch streamer, you're most likely already using Streamlabs, but you can also use this to make thumbnails for your VODs, your Twitch VODs, because that's a possibility. I uh, just go to your video producer and edit your VOD, it will allow you to upload a template. So that template will actually match the, the, the Twitch format and also the YouTube format. If they stay true to their, you know, to their history, they probably will be adding more and more to the gallery. So it's always cool to have like a growing gallery of templates that you can use. I love the fact that it remembers some of your edits so that all you have to do when you come back is just switch the image, switch the title, and then you're good to go. It will obviously feel a little more clunky than an editing software, especially if you're very familiar already with editing softwares. But if you have no experience whatsoever, this is also one of those, hey, there's no excuses because you can use this to, to make your thumbnails. You can use this to, you know, kind of make graphic design without knowing too much about graphic design. Um, there are some alternatives. I, I think Adobe Spark would be a good alternative if you don't have the money. Adobe Spark has a lot of templates that are completely free that you can use on, on, your, on mobile uh, as well as on uh, desktop. But it's cool to see that, you know, Streamlabs is working to make an all-in-one platform, really even though that option is prime. So I'm going to ask you guys, do you think that is an option that is added to all the features that prime is offering? Uh, does that make prime worth it if you don't have it? And if you already have it, are you going to be using it? This was obviously a first look. I only tinkered with it for about 15 minutes. Uh, so I probably do not have all the details, but overall the experience is pretty positive. I always like to do those web-based uh, graphic design style stuff because it, it really gets rid of the excuse of, oh, I don't have Photoshop, so I can't do it. You absolutely can now. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you are looking for some dope overlays that are mostly free and then the rest is very affordable, go to gumroad.com slash get level. Those are overlays made by me to also get rid of the excuse that I don't have any money. So my, my Twitch channel can't look good. They absolutely can because most of the overlays are free there. Follow me on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and all of that. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I will see you guys later. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.